what's up you freaking geniuses so in this video i'm going to teach you how to graph vertical and horizontal lines and the way you end up with vertical or horizontal lines is whenever you find a situation like this okay whenever you find x is equal to a number or y is equal to a number okay so whenever you see a situation like this it's basically a dead giveaway that your graph is either going to be completely horizontal or completely vertical okay so let's start with this one right here x is equal to 3 so what I'm gonna do first is plot some points so first of all I'm gonna plot let's plot this point right here so this point right here sits at the point 3 comma 0 okay now let's do the same thing right here so again starting from the origin go over one two three spaces and go up one okay so this point right here sits at the points three comma one okay and just a few more points right here let's plot this point right here too so then this point right here sits at three comma two okay and it's the same thing going down so if i wanted to plot this point right here it would be at three negative one okay and one last point right here would be at three negative two right Okay, so now, what do all of these points right here have in common? Well, can you see that their x-coordinate is a 3? All of them have a 3 for their x-coordinate, okay? So if we want to know where all the x-coordinates are equal to 3, well, it would be at this line, or this point. It'd be at this point, 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 this point, this point, this point this point right it'd be along every single point right here right so if you wanted to plot x is equal to three you would simply draw a line all along this part of the graph okay because at this line right here all your x coordinates are equal to three okay so what if you had something like x is equal to negative six so where are all of your x coordinates equal to negative 6? Well, this is the x axis, right? So we'd have to come back negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 6. Okay, so all along this part of the graph, all your x coordinates are equal to negative 6. So again, if you plotted, you know, a bunch of random points all along this line, they would all be in the form of negative 6, comma, whatever, something else. Okay, but the point is they would all start with negative 6. Okay, so that's why this line right here represents x is equal to negative 6. Okay, and then one more right here. What if you had x is equal to 0? Well, where are all of your x coordinates equal to 0? Well, this is our x axis right here. Well, your x is equal to 0 right here. It's equal to zero right here, you know, right here, right here, everywhere, all along the y-axis. It's literally on top of the y-axis. So x is equal to zero would be the exact same line as your y-axis right here, okay? So this would be x is equal to zero, okay? And I know it might be a little counterintuitive as to how you graph x is equal to something, right? Because your x axis is horizontal, but when you graph x is equal to a number, the line is vertical, right? So a little more kind of intuitive way that you could think about graphing these is, okay, so if you had x is equal to a number, let's just use this first example again, x is equal to 3. Let's say I wanted to graph x is equal to 3. Well, I have x is equal to something, right? So let's just draw the x axis or the x number line. And remember, the x axis runs horizontally, right? So let's draw our number line horizontally. Okay, and for some reference points, uh, again, this is just a number line, right? So let's put zero right here. We'll put, let's say 10 over here and negative 10 right there. So if we wanted to graph three on this number line, where would that be? Well, it would be, well, this is zero, this is 10. So three would be maybe around here, right? So this part right here is three. Okay, so then taking that same approach to your graph right here, this is your x-axis, right? This is 0, 
this right here is 10 and this right here is negative 10 okay so where's 3 well 3 would be right here right we, where we already graphed it this line right here would be where your 3 is on your number line okay so then this line right here would be x is equal to 3 now it also works the same way with the y's so whenever you have y is equal to a number you could think of it as the first way that we did it okay so where are all the y's equal to 4? Well, all the y's are equal to 4. Let's see. Uh, this is our y-axis, right? This is 0. So we'd go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So your y-coordinate is equal to 4 there. It's equal to 4 right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay? All along this line, all your y-coordinates are equal to 4. Okay? So this would be y is equal to 4, okay? But, again, the other way you could think about it is just thinking of it in the form of a number line, right? Because that's all the y-axis is. It's just a number line. So if you had y is equal to a number, again, you could just say, okay, I'm plotting y is equal to something, right? So let's draw the y-axis or the y-number line. And remember, the y-axis, the number line, runs vertically, okay? So let's draw it vertically this time. Okay, and then just some numbers for reference. So the middle would be 0, down here would be negative 10, right? And then up here is positive 10. Okay, so if I wanted to plot 4, well, 4 would be a little less than halfway between 0 and 10, right? So about right here, that's where 4 is, right? Okay, so taking that exact same idea to the y-axis here, okay, let's plot the 4. Okay, well, I would just go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so then I would just plot that line. Okay, or a couple of other examples. If we had y is equal to negative 7 or y is equal to 0. Okay, let's start with negative 7. Well, on our number line right here, where's negative 7? Uh, well, it would be probably about right there, right? That's negative 7. Okay, so same idea. Coming on the y-axis, we'd go down 7 spots, right? 1, Two, three, four, five, six, negative seven, right there. Okay, so this would be y is equal to negative seven. Okay, or this last one right here, y is equal to zero. Well, again, coming back to our number line right here, where's zero? Well, zero is right here, right? This right here is zero. So then coming back to the number line, remember this is zero on our y axis. So then you can see y is equal to 0 would just sit exactly on top of the x-axis, right there, okay? This would be y is equal to 0. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.